Hi, my name is Brian William Hall. I'm the executive producer of ConspiracyCon, an annual conference dedicated to exposing real conspiracies and real hidden agendas. We bring in a variety of experts from around the country, if not the world, to share their knowledge of research, their areas of concern on issues that absolutely do impact. One of our goals is to expose at this conference the real problems and the real problem makers of this world. The kinds of people you won't hear about by our internationally controlled mainstream media industrial complex. Those forces that operate <clears throat> excuse me, behind the proverbial curtain. I would submit to anybody within the sound of my voice, listening to this, watching this, that the conspiratorial view is far closer to the truth than any other version of history. And what backs up such a brazen statement? History. That's what. History, over time, has proven that the conspiracy theorists, which is, of course, a transparent damage control label by the very forces we expose each and every year, are far closer to the truth when it comes to their honest research. These are the people, like any good investigator, <clears throat> who ask after JFK, after Martin Luther King, Watergate, Jonestown, Iran-Contra, Waco, Oklahoma City, and 9-11, who benefits from this? And they follow the money trail, they follow the paper trail, and it leads to the same groups of people, the same organizations operating all over this planet. I'd like to thank Bill Coons. I'd like to thank Fern Abbott. They are here with us this year, and they have connected me with a fascinating and important gentleman, Ashley Mote, a bona fide member of the European Parliament. This is a man who was voted into office. He represents six million people in southern England, and he is a thorn in the side of the European Union, which is very much a part of the infamous New World Order. Now, you've heard terms like globalism and globalists. These are just happy euphemisms for this new order, an order that's already in Europe. It's here in America, but the powers that be that are behind this are consolidating the very powers. We here at this conference are dedicated to expose what, exposing what they're doing. We have a number of speakers. We have Dr. Len Horowitz. He has been in the medical profession for a very, very long time, respected man, fantastic research, excellent orator, and he's going to share a lot more esoteric knowledge that's been suppressed by the conspirators, the kind of knowledge that can heal us, heal the planet. We also have the grandfather of conspiratorial history, G. Edward Griffin, who wrote The Creature from Jekyll Island. He will be talking about the Quigley formula based on Professor Carol Quigley of Jonestown University, a man Bill Clinton has lauded all his political career. Carol Quigley told, in his own words, what the conspirators are up to. And the conspirators often enjoy bragging about their agendas for all of us. And you can literally quote them up and down throughout history, and that is what G. Edward will do. We also have a variety of other res researchers talking about things from weather modification, chemtrails in the sky, those streaks that turn into clouds that are sprayed by, cl sprayed clandestinely by covert aircraft. We will have uh, people like Stuart Swerdlow, who was a victim of the infamous mind control Montauk project, and he will discuss who or what the world conspirators are. These are just a handful of some of the people, including Ken Thomas, including Joe Bannister, a former IRS man, an agent working for the government who actually questioned the agency, did his own independent investigation, and discovered that there is no law that says we have to pay taxes. It's all voluntary. It's all manipulation. We have been fooled into giving our power away through institutionalized paranoia. Fear is the number one tool that is being used against you and me to do things that we would ordinarily not do. And it is my goal and my intention to provide a forum for truth seekers around the world because conspiracies are real. Hidden, hidden agendas are real. 
We need to get this information out there. If you come to a conference like this, you'll meet these people. You'll meet a lot of like-minded people. It's an excellent opportunity to network. And then when you go home, please share this information with members of your family and friends in your respective communities. The human race is in a lot of trouble, and there's not much time. It's 11.59. We hope to see you here. We hope to see you out there getting the truth to the world. Thank you.